This is Colombia's main international airport. This place has become a hub for hundreds of African migrants pouring every day to embark on the treacherous route to the S-Mexico border, paying traffickers roughly $10,000 to take them to the United States. A trip which has been named by airline employees as the luxury route bypasses the dangerous jungle linking South and North America called the Darien Gap. The surge of African migrants in Colombia's Bogota airport, which began last year, is a vivid example of the impact of one of the largest global movements of people in decades and how it is shifting migration patterns. With the rise of economic and political crisis in many African countries and with Europe's intensive crackdown on immigration, many more Africans are making the far longer and dangerous journey to the US. The migrants in Bogota, Colombia airport come mainly from West African countries such as Guinea, Mauritania, Senegal, Sierra Leone and Somalia. They're headed to Nicaragua, the only country in Central America where citizens from many African nations and from Haiti, Cuba and Venezuela can enter without a visa. Experts say the country's president, Daniel Ortega, loosened visa requirements in recent years to compel the United States to lift sanctions on his authoritarian government. To reach Nicaragua, migrants embark on a journey of several stops, flying to hubs like Istanbul, then on to Colombia, where many fly to El Salvador and then to Nicaragua. Once there, they head northward again by land toward Mexico and the US border. Last year, 60,000 Africans entered Mexico on their way to the United States, up from fewer than 7,000 the year before, as reported by Mexican authorities.